What's going on, everybody? My name is Rob. I'm not as polished as the good Reverend and Angela, but I got a couple words. Bear with me. Um, it's been a couple hard weeks for a couple people here in this crowd. It's been a couple hard centuries for others. I want to say that I appreciate everybody that's in this crowd that's here to join our fight and stand with us. Um, let's just take a moment of silence for everybody that has passed due to the hands of the police. The list is longer than George Floyd, Trayvon Martin, Eric Gardner, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor. Since 2015, nearly a thousand people have died year annually at the hands of police. But this is systemic. This isn't just police brutality. Understand that we're fighting to be treated equal across all, all sectors. Education, healthcare, employment. Today, a black woman is 22% more likely to die from heart disease than a white woman. A black woman is 71% more likely to die from cervical cancer than a white woman. A black woman is 243%, you heard that right, 243% more likely to die from pregnancy or childbirth-related causes than a white woman. So understand that we have power. The black community has power. Projected to spend $1.4 trillion this year. Let me put that in a little perspective. If the African American community was to be its own country, that number would make us the 16th richest country in the world. The black community would be the 16th. That's right above Indonesia. So we need to start spending our money within our community and with companies and organizations that support us. Go to HBCUs, My House College, Howard, Hampton, Tuskegee. Instead of buying Johnson & Johnson Band-Aids that just created skin tone Band-Aids for us, support Roundages, who's been doing it from the beginning. As much as they say this country has changed, we're still fighting the same fight. And I'm happy to see such a diverse crowd. We know our allies to, allies to join in this fight. Changing the system is a daunting task, so people always ask, what can you do, right? So the first step, start understanding racism isn't just about black people being killed by police and deeper than being called nigger. It involves an entire education system rigged to feed the prisons. It includes an entire community not being able to get home or business loans simply because they, bought, they check a certain box in the application. We need actionable items. A friend of mine, I was, who was there last week at the Black Lives Matter protest? It should be louder than that now. So I was there, a friend of mine wasn't there. He had other things to do. I still be asking, where was he, right? He asked me, People understand Black Lives Matter, what now? We need to start putting people in leadership positions like Angela. Yes. Everybody support Angela in her fight as she's on that council. She can't do it by herself, just as she eloquently said. We need to put people that look like us and have our community in mind in the banks. Start giving us those loans so we can start putting businesses in our community. We can defund the police. Right, right, right. Yeah, we, we got to put, definitely, definitely, absolutely. Say it again. <laughs> and that's a good point. People need to understand defunding the police isn't just taking the police out. It's making their duties more specified, putting more social workers in place to help them. Schools, absolutely. So again, start spending that dollar within our communities that represent us and not just people that look like us but people that have our interests in mind all right i just want to say thank you for allowing me to speak keep up the fight love y'all